Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us here on the Coins Alert channel. I am Rich and I am once again making another video on XRP today. As always, I am with you. I hope that each and every one of you is having a fantastic day today. No matter where you are in this wonderful globe, we are going to have a conversation about XRP. To reiterate, this is the chart for a single day alone. Currently, we are seated here at 56 cents. Another reversal occurred today in the market. XRP, along with the rest of the market, has just done a complete retreat. There are still those individuals who believe that we are going to go to a far lower level before we eventually begin to break out. Simply. Put, I am waiting for it to take place. Towards the end of this year, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has set a target to adopt laws pertaining to cryptocurrencies. My objective is to enact a piece of legislation that is approved by the Senate and signed into law by the end of the year. And I am certain that we will be able to make that a reality, the Democrat from New York stated on Wednesday evening during the town hall meeting for crypto for Harris. The only issue that I can think of with this is the following. Assuming that they are going to expedite things. This is not something that is beneficial for ordinary investors. It is imperative that we ensure that retail investors are safeguarded by this cryptocurrency regulation. This is incredibly beneficial for cryptocurrency because it has the potential to lead to widespread adoption. Whenever I make a video about XRP, I always remind you that we are still waiting for regulations to be implemented. Once regulations are in place, widespread adoption will take place. Smolder is the source of this. Everything will be revealed. The Democratic leader has set a goal to pass laws regarding cryptocurrencies by the end of the year in order to pass the stablecoin measure before the election. Beginning around the end of 2024, Russian foreign cryptocurrency transactions will also include CBDC. The legislation regarding stablecoins in the UK will expire in 2024. Cryptocurrency's true market worth will be disclosed by the end of 2024. Ongoing bull cycle for the Mecca cryptocurrency regulation, which will be fully implemented in the EU by the end of 2024. It is reasonable to anticipate that utility will be the primary factor driving the price of XRP in the early years of 2025 if all of these regulations are implemented by the end of this year. There is a possibility that tokenization may take place on the XRP ledger at a very high volume, which will result in significant price increases for XRP. Moreover, the fair market value of cryptocurrency is expected to arrive by the end of this year. That has the potential to be a very significant factor as well. It is also very important to consider how institutional fear of missing out FOMO will manifest itself for FedNow by the end of 2024. As the number of corporate players in FedNow suddenly increases to 50%, there will be a larger motivation for participants to attempt to join a variety of domestic instant payment networks. According to the fact that they are dependent on FOMO within the financial industry to embrace FedNow in order to maintain their competitive edge over other banks, and the number of people adopting the payment service continues to climb. In addition, according to a report that FedNow sent to credit unions in the United States, by the end of the year, 50% of banks and credit unions will be operational with FedNow in the event that the anticipated threshold of 50%. Acceptance of FedNow is met. The implementation of institutional FOMO will start. This is something that is going to take place for the remainder of this year. If you want to avoid becoming disheartened by the fact that the price of XRP is not moving at the moment, you need to take a step back and look at the wider picture. Many things are taking place behind the scenes at this very moment. Additionally, there are other events that are taking place at the same time, and we are receiving announcements on them. It is also important to keep in mind that earlier this year, Treasury officials demanded that lawmakers in the United States take action to regulate cryptocurrency before the next crisis occurs. The majority of the time, they are the ones who are responsible for causing the crisis, therefore they are already aware that these catastrophes are going to occur. Just take a look at the current state of inflation. The Federal Reserve first causes inflation and then works to combat it. Similar to the crisis situation, the financial crisis is caused by the government, and then proceeds to provide you with the answer. As to the problem, many people have recently stated that YouTubers have created a flip the switch. Sadly, we did not. The concept of flip the switch originated from Ripple itself. The timing of the transition to a more modern connection and technological paradigm is one of the most important factors. In essence, the objective is to transition from the current system to a digital system that is superior to the current system. And this is exactly what Ripple has been working toward the entire time. By the year 2024, major financial institutions such as JP Morgan, HSBC, and Franklin Templeton will have made the decision to implement blockchain technology fully. This is where you can see it. Switching on and off is not a novel concept. 
It is something that David Schwartz has brought up on several occasions in the past. As we move closer to that point, we will be able to turn the switch. In addition to that, ISO is on its way. For those who have XRP, everything that is going to happen in the future is totally awesome. You just need to be able to make it through the lengthy price movement that is sideways and drawn out. You are going to be rewarded for all of the misery that you have endured all of a sudden, since this is quite painful right now. Don't get the wrong idea. I can empathize with each and every one of you since I am experiencing the same emotions now. The exasperating experience of observing XRP climb up 4 cents, then drop back down 3 cents, then go up 2 cents, then drop back down 3 cents again, and then repeat the process over and over again. However, you have to persevere through this even though it is really frustrating. The International Monetary Fund IMF Tokenization Panel discusses banks and other financial organizations that are currently tokenizing their assets on a blockchain. A change like this is already taking place. Pay close attention. In addition, you are putting together a governance framework and a procedural framework for banks to tokenize their assets on this network. This is what you are doing. As an illustration, you can tokenize a variety of assets, including as money market funds, bonds, stocks, and deposits, and then place that representation on the network. This will enable the transactions to take place between the two parties. There are currently close to a dozen banks in Singapore that have already begun the process of personalizing their assets on the network. It was just recently stated by Standard Shared Bank, which I believe was a few months ago, that they will be tokenizing their trade receivables. As part of their money market fund, UBS is tokenizing it. Deposits at JP Morgan Chase are being tokenized. Consequently, you can observe that the changeover is already taking place. Furthermore, from the point of view of market efficiency, you are significantly decreasing the number of operational processes that are removed from the system. As a result, we are of the opinion that, without delving into the intricate description of what a token is, whether from a legal or an academic point of view, I consider it to be a pure and total delight in technology. If you take that piece of asset and put it in the network, you will be able to combine two different things. A single piece of token has both the value of the asset and the ownership of the asset included inside it. In addition, if I am successful in establishing adequate governance of the network, you will be able to transfer the asset amongst ourselves without the need for anyone to reconcile the databases. Therefore, as all of these tokenized assets begin moving throughout the network, that is where the value is going to actually come from for XRP, and it is going to be transferring that value on a daily basis. You should realize that the next step up is getting closer. I have received this from Pharaoh X. The moment that Coinbase stops allowing me to make purchases with my account and support begins to inquire about whether or not there are any third parties who are advising me on what to purchase or who are accessing my account. It seems as though they are about to pump one of the coins that I have been purchasing. It's possible that I'm putting too much thought into it, but I'm not sure, but that indicates that they are acting in a suspicious manner. However, they are aware of what is going to happen. Remove every single cryptocurrency from the exchanges. To reiterate something that I have been telling you for quite some time now, you do not go to the supermarket, purchase food, and then leave the groceries at the store. Do you have any reason to leave your cryptocurrency at the exchanges? All of these conversations are aware that something is going to happen. They are anticipating that it will take place already. Take a look at what transpired subsequent to Bitcoin reaching a new all-time high. Due to the fact that they do not want you to sell at the peak, all of the exchanges started moving down. Everyone says, oh, I'm going to absolutely time the top perfectly and everyone agrees with them. There is no way that you will be selling the top. Possibly you will be able to time it. On the other hand, when the moment arrives, you suddenly find that the exchange is down and you are forced to wait for the price to return to its previous level. After that,